Hello everyone, Alex RC Freak here coming at you with another video. This is a video on how to install the front or the rear differential. It's exactly the same front or rear for the installation. The back has a rear wing mount, so it does make it a little bit more tricky and you'll need an extension on a three millimeter wrench or maybe like a, if you have a three millimeter Allen to get to these screws in the back since the wings on there. Unless you remove the wing mount, it does make it a little easier, but you don't have to. So anyway, I'm just going to show you on the front. It's exactly the same on the rear. Um, you just got a wing mount, so you just need a longer extension on a ratchet. So basically, instead of a four instead of a four millimeter here, you get a longer extension and put a three millimeter on it. Works just fine. So that's what I did, and it seems to work real good. As you can tell, I already put some grease on the pinion gear um, already. I did not put any grease on the ring gear, so that's what I'm going to be doing right now. So I'm using, if you want to know, this is what I use. This is Stalplex, or Stall Lube. I got it from O'Reilly's. Pretty good lube. I, I think I like the O'Reilly's Master Pro brand wheel bearing grease a lot better um from my knowledge it seems to, for me to work a lot better and i know what you're thinking it's a lot of grease on a rain gear but i like i say i ain't afraid of grease you know what i'm saying and yeah i know people are gonna be like it's gonna sling off but you know what it's gonna be sitting there inside the housing and when you're driving around it's gonna heat up and it's gonna keep everything well lubricated inside there so I think it is very important to grease it um, and I also think it's very important to take your RC apart and get to know it a little bit spend some time with it you know so it's kind of what I've been doing all day that's keep my mind off things my work has did some in my opinion messed up stuff to me recently and uh, I ain't too happy about it to be honest so anyway with that being said i'll just leave it at that but it's pretty irritating so i've been using this to kind of keep my mind clean and clear i guess if that makes any sense so anyway when you do that you get it all greased up exact same for the rear so i can't say that enough literally so i removed this shock if you notice i removed this shock it's a three millimeter bolt right there it does look like this is exactly what it looks like, just so you guys can see it. That's what it looks like. So, you got this washer, and very, very, very important. You got this shim. You got your ring gear right on this side. This is your ring gear right here, where the stainless steel screws are. Take your shim, stick it on. Now, this is going to be tricky. Now, I'm going to try to do this. going to try to do this on camera, you might have to take that other shock out. Now, if my head's in the way, I apologize. You just gotta, you gotta get this thing in. There we go, it should pop right in now. So. A little bit of a tight bugger to get in there. We go okay. So, yeah, sorry if my head's in the way. I apologize about that. Let me get you guys in a little closer, maybe a little better angle. So, you got to make sure to get this thing. As you can tell, it's a little bit of a snug fit. There we go. Okay. Okay. So, I always rock the RC. As you saw, I have tires underneath it right now holding it up because of the shocks or undone. And same with the back. Um, I just, I only, you don't have to do this. It's just, it makes it a pain in the keister if you don't. So, Anyway, you got the washer in there, making sure it's pressed in there firmly. Make sure your diff cup's sitting in there all the way. Um, 
Should have enough grease on there. I could put a little bit more grease in there, but that should be more than enough, honestly. So then you got your, basically, your uh, front diff cup, differential case housing, your front differential case. So you want to take it, kind of tricky. You got to get it in there just at a little bit of an angle. Push down for a minute, it pops right in. Very, very easily. So, what you got, dropping screws here. So, anyway, what you got is you got, you got four socket head style, three millimeter screws, which are right here. You got four of them. And then you got one four millimeter Allen right there. These are the socket head style. So, you stick this through top, just like that. Stick these in there just like so. And now crisscross them when you do these. So evenly tighten it down. Because if you tighten one down too tight, it's going to get the the front uh, differential case cockeyed. And it can cause your differential to bind. So it is actually important to do it at a crisscross pattern. So... And voila, after you evenly tighten them down, tighten this, put your screw back in for your shock, you're done. And that's really all there is to it. I mean, it's very, very easy to work on. Um, I, I Seriously, I'm pretty impressed. It's pretty easy to work on, really. Um, the quality control, I do like Horizons Hobbies vehicles, not all of them. I like their, like, 1.6 scale and larger vehicles. They seem to be designed pretty well. Um... With that being said, you just be cautious when you have an armor vehicle. Honestly, go through it. I'm serious. If you get one, go through the entire vehicle. Make sure everything's done correctly because I promise you, it's it's not going to be done correctly. You're going to find problems like how my diff gaskets were ripped or torn i guess you could say out of the box so like i say any and everyone who's watched this video i really appreciate it taking time out of your day to do it it really means a lot to me generally so with that being said thank you so much for watching alex rc freak out stay tuned i'll get a driving video and i'm gonna be doing some other stuff to this alex rc freak out peace